हे गाइज अर्न जय एंड इट्स बीन अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम दैट आई डिड अ वीडियो ऑन एम आई थ्री एंड ऑल द टाइम दैट आई डिन डू अ वीडियो ऑन एम आई थ्री आई वॉज टेस्टिंग डिफरेंट रॉम्स ऑन द एम आई थ्री बिकॉज आफ्टर द कर्नल सोर्सेज आर रिलीज फॉर एम आई थ्री देर आर टर्स ऑफ रॉम दैट आर अवेलेबल एंड देर आर टर्स ऑफ कर्नल्स अवेलेबल फॉर द फोन सो आई टेस्टेड मेनी रॉम्स एंड हेर इज माई लिस्ट ऑफ टॉप थ्री रॉम्स for the mi3 so let's get into the video and it's not like the first rom is very good and third rom is not that good all the roms are equal but there are different things which i'll mention while explaining the rom so the first rom which you are saying right now is the i1 lollipop build and it's 5.1.1 best and this rom is purely aos p based so it's not like you will see many customization options in the rom so if you are someone who wants to have customizations or who likes to customize a lot then this rom is not for you just wait for the second and third option but this rom is for them who want to have stable rom experience on the mi3 and still need to have aos based rom or do not want to have miui system on the mi3 then i1 rom is like one of the best roms that you can have which is very very stable the battery is very good phone is rock stable and it's very very fast and the best thing about this rom is that there are almost zero bugs in the rom and you can update the rom through the updater app so you can simply come over here and just download the updated version and as you can see 5.5.25 is the latest build according to the developer this is the last build of the rom because as this rom is aosp based like pure aosp code based uh, developers said that after there will be changes in the aosp code from the google at that time only there will be new additions in the rom so till that time the rom will not be updated and they, i don't think so that there is anything that needs to be updated so i'll just show you some of the settings that this rom has and as we go into settings you will be able to see that let's go into sound and notification then there is one thing which is not completely stable in all the roms that's the vibration intensity so it's like if there is no vibration intensity controller then the vibration when you have it enabled for the physical buttons or anything then the vibration is like very very huge so so that may scare somebody but i1 has got you covered just go into other sounds of the rom then you can simply adjust the vibration intensity and you can adjust it from over here so let's keep it 27% and surely the vibrator intensity has reduced so now let's go into settings once again and i'll show you something so if we go into display then you will be able to see that we can have this type of network monitor over here so as you can see this is the network traffic monitor which shows the speed at which you are using the internet so that's surely a nice thing and i surely like to have this feature in every rom and there is color calibration too so if you think that display is not properly colored like the whites are not looking white then you can simply adjust the display colors according to your need and the colors of the display will be changed so that's surely a nice thing but i do not think so that there is any problem with 100% so yeah this was it for the i1 rom and when will i choose i1 rom is when i need to have a stable very very stable experience and i need to have a very good battery life with very good performance and customization doesn't matter to me that time i'll surely choose i1 rom because it's like very very good rom and i'll just open up the camera and let's click a picture and video recording works camera also works there is some issue so let's click a picture wait i'll just show you so as you can see the picture is also very very clear no issues with the pictures too and if we go into hdr mode and if we click a picture then the picture is taken if you are in portrait mode but if you try to take a picture with hdr on in landscape mode then it doesn't work that way but uh, anyways i do not use hdr that much and normal camera is very very good so no issues with that too and uh, so yeah this is it for the i1 rom so now let's switch to another rom which i like so that's the moki rom so guys this is the second rom that i have chosen for the mi3 and this is the moki rom and the reason that i chose moki rom because we do not have sanusion mod 12.1 nightlies the that are officially supported and which are updated on daily basis but whereas moki rom is updated on daily basis and it's kind of nightly you can get the stable version too and as it is nightly and as the moki rom is based on sanusion mod sources so all the latest sanusion mod sources are implied into the rom so even if we do not have sanusion mod 12.1 we have moki rom which has more customization options than the sanusion mod 12.1 so let's see what moki rom has to offer and as we open our app drawer then you will be able to see that this is something like what android m may have or may not have so how to change that just long press on the home button go swipe up and then you will see something as drawer setting select layout to paste 
and it will be changed to normal we do have theme manager from cm 12.1 as i said it's it's based on cm sources so we can apply themes too so let's apply a theme and this is the samsung touchwiz theme i applied it just to show it to you guys and if we go into display and lights there are tons of options to customize uh, we, as you can see double tap to sleep just double tap on status bar and the phone will be locked you can even change the lcd density like if you want to change it to 520 then it will change it to 520 i as i change it to 520 it will just soft reboot the phone and now if we go into settings you will be able to notice that these icons everything is like little bigger now because we have changed the density to 520 and we can even change as you can see this is the animation you are seeing right now this type of animation and I surely like this type of animation in the Moki ROM and I just keep it as it is but if you do not like this then you can simply turn it off from here and now we, if we go into smart control then you will be able to see that direct calling dialer so let's just select this option and let's enter a number and now if we just do like this uh, as if this is our ear then it will directly place a call and that's surely a very nice thing to have for people who make so many calls through the dialer application so that's a very good feature and now if we go into status bar then you will be able to change everything like if i just change the clock style to center then the clock will be in the center if i just select network network traffic monitor as i showed you earlier in the i once rom you can see set that too as you can see rather all the options which are present in science mod 12.1 are present in this rom plus there are extra additions like a uh, network traffic monitor and many things like that so do check that out and if we go into Moki center then you will be able to see that we have updater and we can update it on daily basis through this application only so you do not have to download 300 mb of rom once again to update the rom so yeah as you saw Moki rom is like very very good very feature rich and it is very stable too because i used Moki rom most in all these three roms and it's very good rom and as it is updated on daily basis as i said so so many times it's like very good and if there is a bug in the rom then it is immediately updated in the next build so that's surely a very good thing so after Moki rom now let's shift to our third rom so guys this is the third rom and that's called as xenon hd and this rom is the best customizable rom that you can have on mi3 so before further ado let's get into the customization options only so as you can see i have applied some theme over here so that's a really nice thing and you get something called as rom settings so as you can see let's go into status bar and there are tons of options which are present in cyanogen mod 12.1 Moki rom all those options are present over here so let's go to network traffic and let's enable it outgoing and end so as you can see there is a tiny arrow over here and as the display is 1080p so uh, that doesn't matter if the text is very small because it looks crisp only so in the status bar there are these many options i can't go through all of these because it's like tons of features are present in this rom let's go into notification raw uh, there are many things over there too so i'll just show you some of the highlight features of this rom so let's go into slim descent so the multitasking tray looks like this as you can see this is the normal multitasking tray on lollipop if you just use slim recents and if you just use the multitasking tray now you'll be able to see that the multitasking tray is now different and that multitasking tray is surely very good you can change it to left or right from here so as you can see it's currently on right you can change this option and you can change it to right or left whatever you want and there are many options here too like you can, you can only show running applications it will show google play store and google app if there is another app which is present in the multitasking tray but it's not actually running in the background so it's like false app in the multitasking tray then you can simply enable this option then it will show you the apps which are present in the multitasking tray so surely that's a very good thing and if we go into buttons then you will be able to see that there are different options like wake up the device using volume keys i have seen some of my friends using mi3 who do not use custom rom on the mi3 because it doesn't have an option to wake up the device by using volume keys and this rom has it so that's a very good thing and you can even select playback control and there are many different things here too and one of the important thing of the rom is that it's stable too and it's buttery smooth i i cannot comment on the battery life precisely because i did not use the rom for longer time but i read comments on the xdr thread and it was like the rom is good but i can surely say that the rom performs very very good uh, performance is not an issue over here and there is no end to customization options so that's surely a very good thing 
and as we saw in the mocky rom you can change the lcd density so we can change that here too so as i said all the features in mocky rom cm 12.1 all the features over there are present over here too plus there are extra animations so if we select fade then you can let's select so you can even change system animations so surely very good thing so if you are someone who likes to customize your phone then this rom is for you and pure customizations like everything can be customized using this rom and there is one more thing uh, that's called as layer manager and as you can see you can adjust the layers too and uh, this thing is like very good you can customize by using that too so yeah this is pretty much it for this video guys so these were my top 3 roms for the mi3 so if you are having mi3 and if you are going to flash any of these custom roms or if you are using any of these custom roms then do let me know about that in the comment section below so after rom thing i am going to start testing the kernels for the mi3 so do hit that subscribe button to come to know about that video as soon as i upload it so yeah this is it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and if you want to see more content on mi3 then i'll give the link of that in the description box below don't forget to check that out so thank you guys thank you for watching